we're going to do the left turn. Now, the left turn is the last of, of the three core basics that, that I'm really concerned with. And we do a lot of things off the left turn. So leaders and followers, you want to make sure that you, you really kind of get this one down. This one is a little bit more involved because it actually rotates and it starts to move the dance a little bit around. So starting facing this direction, uh, pretending you have your partner in closed dance position, you have one and rotating two and then moving off to your right leaders side cross in front side okay let's try that again leaders from closed dance position you have one and rotate for the count of two stepping off to the side three and four crossing in front followers you're going to have that same um, arm position and, and rotation of the body as you're going one and you're rotating to your left two and you're going to move off to your left side as you do three and four now the amount of rotation is really up to the leader and how much is comfortable it's it's about three-eighths of a turn but it, don't hold me to that if you can't like get three-eighths of a turn or you actually go all the way to a half a turn it's whatever's comfortable for you and most importantly, is there space for you to go there? So actually what I'd like to do at this point is I'm going to bring Susanna out and I'm going to demo the left turn and I will be the leader and Susanna will be the follower. So enter Susanna. Um, from closed dance position, I'm going to start here. We're going to go one and two. Now on the count of two, leaders, what I'm thinking and concerned about is that my left foot goes in between her feet for the pivoting action and then we move off to my right side leaders right side as we do side cross side for the counts of three and four okay let's try that again close dance position you have one and rotate stepping in between the feet making sure that the frame is nice and steady and moving off to the right side as you do side cross side now it's important technique wise as you're doing side cross side to keep your knees flexed so as you move out to the side and cross in front it stays nice and smooth if you reach out with a stiff leg then then that's when you start to get that rise and fall and, and sort of jerkiness um, I'm gonna turn and do it this way because I want to explain a little bit about the frame and the opening up to the leaders right side so as you go one and two the body now, the body center should be pointed in the direction that you're traveling. So as you go side, cross, side, it makes it nice and comfortable. If you're absolutely facing your partner, um, it's, it's like awkward to reach off to the side. So if you went one and two, and you tried to do three and four, it almost feels like there's not enough room for your feet to go through the center. Um, but by the same token, you don't want to get so far apart that you have that body pitch going on. So as you're going one and two, moving off to, I'm already pointing in that direction. What I need to make sure of is that I open the follower's body alignment enough so that she can get her left foot out of the way as we do side, cross, side. Okay, so that's the left turn. Um, again, mentioning that that's kind of an important step because a lot of things that we're going to do come off of that. So I'm just going to put those three together. Starting in closed dance position, again, I'm leading, so don't get confused. And Susanna, I hope, is following. <laughs> so we have our basic step, one and two, three and four, underarm turn, three and four, left turn here, side cross side for counts three and four. Um, leaders, a little bit about the left turn, another piece of, of technical information. When I'm having her rock back for her counts one and, basically what I'm doing, stay there, basically what I'm doing with my frame is I'm opening the frame a little bit to my right side so that she gets a little bit more opening before she actually goes across. So from here, as I go one and, I'm opening her a little bit more than I would say if I were doing a basic step going one, a basic step going one and two, three and four. Okay, 
So we have one and two, three and four for side cross side. Now the way I'm doing that is I have my frame here, nice and comfortable place for her to set. As I open it up, I'm opening the whole frame and I'm opening the hinge of the wrist just a little bit, okay? So from here, I'm opening to my right side and I'm giving that little bit of wrist open up so that she actually goes farther than she would for a basic. So we had our three steps again. Actually, let me do it from this side. So we have one and two, three and four. Underarm turn, three and four, one and two, side cross side. And those are the first three steps. So make sure you practice those three before moving on. We're going to take a short break and be right back.